Hey guys, welcome to Crazy Days. Today, I've been out in the garden. We've collected most all of our broccoli, and I'm going to show you a little bit about that. We collected a few of our cabbage. We have quite a few more to go. But mainly, I'm going to show you how to tie tomatoes up in a green stalk planter. And later today, I'm going to uh, show you the herb seeds I'm going to start in my mini greenhouse. All this broccoli, I pulled, this is mainly salad broccoli, little bitty, um, sprigs that come on after heads and some of our plants was simply salad broccoli so I'm not going to eat this much broccoli over the next couple of days so we're going to take it in possibly blanch it and put some in the freezer you can dehydrate uh, you can make soup whatever you want to do cream of broccoli soup something like that but I'm going to steam some of this down for uh, for lunch and then uh, deal with the rest these there's five of these little things these are the 45 day cabbage these just did not grow they did not produce i mean you can see it's about the size of maybe maybe a tennis ball they're not very big they're good eating we've eaten a couple of these already but i'm going to take all of them and make some slaw with some possibly steam some down and share some with the uh, neighbors we're going to send the lorries a couple of these. Many people have asked about the green stalk planter. The top tray is for water only. No plants, no dirt goes in this tray. It's only for watering. You water from the top down. It's a um, gradual feed or and it comes out the holes in the bottom of the top one then it goes down to the next one. You can see I've got carrots and some mixed greens in the top tier. And they're all coming up pretty good. Then we've got this lettuce. And I've been eating. You can tell I've been eating a lot of the lettuce. The way it looks. <laughs> we've been eating a lot of it. It's growing really well. On the back side. You can see. It's doing great back there. The third tier. Has some radishes in it. And we're going to see, I'm going to have to pull some of these out. I pulled a few out, but they're just too thick. But I did put radishes in the third tier. These are from Haas Tools. They're seed company. They are doing awesome. The next tier is this type of lettuce. It's a red lettuce. Maybe red romaine. It is wanting to bolt. It started that early on. We've been eating on it, but it's not doing very well. Then we have the curly leaf kale. It is doing awesome all the way. We've got it in about four or five of these at the bottom. But we have tomatoes. So many people have asked, how do you tie tomatoes in a green stalk? Can you put steaks in them? Now their container is the deepest container I've seen. Or one of the deepest containers I've seen. Most of them are about this shallow. These are really deep, so you could put a stake in there and tie it up, I guess. And I thought of that today. But this is what I did. I run the string around the base where this goes together right here. And I tied my plant. That way I can twist my green stalk around and be very in this greenhouse i'm going to have to be very careful not to break anything because i'm limited you can see i'm limited in space and i did the same thing with this one i tied it around the base there and then i come out and i tied my tomato up when my tomato gets taller i'll tie it around that base and i'll keep it uniform around it so if you wanted to do tomatoes this is the way you tie your tomatoes up in a green stalk simple easy and if you're not taking it apart they'll be there if you take it apart now of course they're going to fall and you're going to have trouble but right now tie your green stalk tomatoes up simply around this base right here and then around your tomato and it holds them up because my tomatoes are looking awesome in here both of them I'm really pleased with the green stalk planter so far with the greens that we've been eating, the leafy greens. We're going to see how the tomatoes and carrots and things produce. It's all an experiment with the
carrots and this all but we'll see that's the way you tie your tomatoes up later today we're bringing in a tray of starter plants we're going to have our seed starter plants going and we're going to add them to the little mini greenhouse and it's hot enough during the day i have to leave this open we get up in the 70s guys so before long when we know all cool weather's over we'll have to take down the plastic and just leave it exposed so guys that's how you tie tomatoes to a green stalk planter thank you guys from crazy days